March 19th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start us off with the USGS website. Uh, I would like you to pay particular attention to the location of all the earthquakes happening in Japan. Now these earthquakes are 4-5 or, or better. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of quakes. And if you take and it's not like it's just in one spot, it's the entire east coast of the Jap of uh, Japan's largest island, I believe is very, very unstable. Um, let's go over to earthchangesscott.net. Tiny amounts of Japan's radiation reach California. Uh, Vienna, Japan's radioactive fallout has reached Southern California, but, but first readings are about a billion times beneath levels that would be health threatening a diplomat with access to the United Nations radiation tracking set on Friday. So the official word is everything's okie dokie, not a mention about the MOX fuel or the plutonium. Um, I get reports where they've given up trying to cool the reactors down, now they're talking about burying the things. Uh, again, if you look at the earthquakes on the east coast of uh, Japan, um, I think we're in some serious trouble. Uh, let's go to, they got another fear piece, the scariest earthquake is yet to come. U.S. spring flooding underway, expecting to worsen through April. Uh, with spring flooding already underway over portions of the U.S., the NOAA forecasters are warning the worst is yet to come. Almost half the country from north central U.S. through the Midwest and the Northeast have an above average risk of flooding over the next few weeks according to the annual spring outlook released today. Uh, I can tell you for a fact there's still two feet of snow just one state north of me and uh, they are expecting um, flooding for sure. Uh, the creeks are already at their banks and uh, the snow is melting rapidly. We have two pages today. Uh, we have a 6.5 earthquake strikes the seafloor northwest of Vanuatu. Uh, that is a major volcano. Four quakes measuring five points occur east of Honshu, Japan. Uh, there are four earthquakes magnitudes 5.0 and above uh, at the eastern coast of Jap Japanese island of Honshu on Thursday morning. And they were pretty shallow according to the USGS survey. And more earthquake stuff on Japan. Come on, catch up. Uh, they keep bringing up the the piece of highway that fell in California yesterday. Here, out of Everett, Washington, land crack appears. Neighborhood is sinking. Uh, Everett, Washington. People living in a Valley View neighborhood of Southeast Everett are waiting and watching. A two-story house on their block tilted at a 20-degree angle and could collapse at any moment. Now, the cracking earth first appeared six weeks ago and now is threatening about four homes. The city of Everett has red-tagged the home on Burl, which is collapsing. This means no one is allowed near the property. A yellow tag was posted on two other properties where the land is giving way. And that's just uh, Earth Changes. Another fear piece. And they've got a story here, a mystery in Florida. Did the Earth shake in St. Augustine this morning? St. Augustine, Florida. The ground shook briefly this morning, but nobody seemed quite sure why. First Coast News received several calls as to the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office about two tremors felt this morning around 9.30 a.m. local time. Sheriff's deputies are among those who reported feeling the shaking, and Associated Press reported tremors were felt in Flagler County as well. Geologists at the University of Florida said nothing showed up on any earthquake detecting equipment. Well, the cause of this shaking is speculation at this point, but the Sheriff's Office said the uh, sensation was stronger near the ocean. No damage has been reported. Then they asked, did you feel anything? 
Uh, and then I got a story about uh, North and South Korea collaborating on Bekato Volcano. Uh, apparently there's a volcano that's uh, fairly active on the border between North Korea and China. And South Korea has uh, agreed to consider a request by uh, North Korea on Thursday to discuss a joint cooperation on the possible eruption of Mount Bekidu, a volcano straddling the North, Cor North Korea-China border that hasn't erupted since 1903. Uh, with everything going on with Ch China, I guess uh, North Korea is sending out an olive branch about um, helping them with the volcano if, if it is to erupt. Um, U.S. storm slams into Bay Area, winds batter Santa Rosa, California. A blast of high wind slammed into Santa Rosa neighborhood early Friday, damaging a landscape company, while a rare tornado warning was issued uh, for San Mateo County as a winter storm ravaged the Bay Area. Um, so California is having all kinds of crazy weather along with the mild radioactivity nobody needs to worry about. Uh, we got another uh, volcano alert at Indonesia. Volcano raised to highest alert. Indonesia raised the alert level at one of its most active volcanoes to the highest after it repeatedly sent hot clouds of gas down its slopes. Uh, Volcanology hazard mitigation chief um, says authorities have been ordered to evacuate people living along Mount Karangatang's C-A-R-A-N-G-E-T-A-N-G -E slopes. And they got another volcano rumbling. Let's go over to the Extinction Protocol. And they have the California Highway story. Of course, I covered that yesterday. They have earthquake swarm magma on the move under Iceland's Askja, Askja volcano, A-S-K-J-A. -A. A minor explosive eruption on the southeast caldera margin in 1875 was one of Iceland's largest during historical time. And again, this volcano's uh, showing signs of rumbling. And of course, uh, Iceland is right on that Atlantic shelf, very active area, historically. And the Florida... Oh, and I had the feral cats yesterday. They've got feral packs of hogs terrorized towns in Texas. I even got a, an IM teasing me about this story. Dallas, Texas. Texas is being taken over by feral hogs, which run in packs, can weigh up to 375 pounds, and sometimes have tusks. I think people expect this to be a rural problem, uh, Tex Texas Agricultural Commissioner said, told the AP, Not so. They're in the Dallas suburbs, out in the county where they sh were shredding cornfields, trampling fruit trees, and devouring the occasional calf. But in the city, they are uprooting lawns and overturning playground equipment. Wow, they're always out there. So, uh, well, if shit hits the fan, Texas is going to be fine. They're going to bacon and beans for everyone. And they've got the Indonesia Volcano Alert. Uh, more fear stuff about the supermoon. I'm going to go out and film that. I've got clear skies tonight, right after this. Activity it intensifies at Japan's Shinmodak Volcano, S-H-I-N-M-O-E-D-A-K. The strongest activity in southern Japan's uh, Shinmodak Volcano in 52 years shattered windows four miles away, sending hundreds of people fleeing in the area. Ash and other volcanic debris soared more than 6,000 feet into the atmosphere. Above... Uh, Kyushu Island, about 950 miles from the epicenter of the catastrophic 9.0 quake. And again, Japan's, the Mount Fuji's warming up. Uh, they've got two volcanoes popping off, all the earthquakes. It's, Japan is in trouble. And let's see. And we're going to go over to the RSOE. 
and the RSOE is reporting today. Let me come up here. Oh, they have the Mount Fiji uh, volcano activity. They had a 5.0. They're, they're having earthquakes in Mount Fiji. Um, they are worried about that volcano um, becoming active. It hasn't erupted in a very long time. Tornado reported in the Philippines. Uh, apparently they have severe storms and a tornado ripped up about 600 houses, something like that, 60, 600. Uh, extreme weather in China. This is in northern China by Mongolia. They had a severe dust storm just causing all kinds of havoc. And uh, the nuclear event in Canada, of course, I reported on that. Uh, they updated that a um, non-hazardous amount of radioactive material leaked out with that 73,000 liters of uh, mineralized water that got away. And then the only other thing going on today over at um, Disaster, where'd it go? Yeah, UB Alert disaster. Four people killed in landslide in northwest China. Uh, local officials reported four people died from a landslide from severe rain. Apparently they were in a makeshift shelter next to a mine. And the ground gave way and, of course, they were covered. Uh, that is about it for today. Um, definitely... Pay attention to what's going on in uh, Fukushima. They're they're talking about burying those reactors. They've given up on trying to save it. So a meltdown is a guarantee at this moment, pretty much. And uh, we definitely need to pay attention to what's going on in the weather. Now, if they're tracking um, slight radioactivity in California, where's the word out on Hawaii, uh, Alaska, and the west coast of Canada? <clears throat> so we definitely need to pay attention on what's going on. I know it's been a really long report. Um, thanks for hanging in there, and uh, enjoy what you can.